Philippines. A faction of the Philippines governing party has nominated the champion boxer and current senator Manny Pacquiao as its presidential candidate for next year's election. Mr Pacquiao accepted the nomination after a rival faction nominated President Rodrigo Duterte as its choice for vice president. The Philippines constitution bars Mr Duterte from running for a second term. Here's Cap Domingo, correspondent for ABS-CBN News, explaining just how significant this decision to run for president is for Manny Pacquiao. Quite a significant decision coming from world boxing icon and Philippine Senator Manny Pacquiao, who he recently announced, as you said earlier, that he will be running for Philippine president in next year's national elections. This means that the ruling party, PDP Laban, so far will be fielding at least two presidential candidates. As you mentioned earlier, the ruling party is currently split into two factions, one led by Pacquiao and the other supported by President Rodrigo Duterte. Now, so far, the Philippine Commission on Elections has yet to decide which faction should be authorized to actually field a nominee for next year's elections. Pacquiao has yet to tell us who his vice president would be and has yet to divulge a senatorial lineup as well as he has yet to unveil his 22-point agenda for next year's elections. On the other side of PDP Laban, we have current Senator uh, Christopher Bongo for running or nominated for president and for vice president, no less than President Rodrigo Duterte himself. Now, as he mentioned earlier, this is quite a significant development as both factions of the ruling party are now butting heads over which one should be deemed as the legitimate faction of that said party. Now, Vida, so far, um, from what we have seen earlier during the announcement of Senator Pacquiao's candidacy, he said that he will be primarily fighting corruption as well as poverty here in the Philippines, which kind of, um, uh, which is quite similar to the promises of President Rodrigo Duterte when he ran for chief executive in the 2016 polls. Pacquiao and his um, allies in the PDP Laban have also called Duterte's group as hijackers of the party. It's important to note, Vida, that um, Pacquiao is also backed by Senator Aquilino Pimentel, who is the son of the founder of this ruling party. Duterte, on the other hand, still holds command of a lot of a big chunk of influence here in the Philippines. So we have yet to see which faction of the ruling party will prevail come the filing of candidacies next month. Captain Mingo, that was. Let's have a look.